Hi, I'm Joey, and today I'm going to be talking to you about gelatos. Uh, I can only do three projects, which is a shame because there's loads of things we can do with it. So we'll just get straight into the demonstrations and show you like the simplest things we can do with it. So the gelatos are like a crayon, uh, they're like a lipstick, so you just push, twist it up, that's how they work. So the pigment, uh, highly pigmented, so they're really dark, really intense colour. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do with it is just direct paper. So you can just scribble. And I know this seems a bit, <laughs> what's going on here? Don't have to be very precise though, because this isn't the end. We can change this. So I'm just going to scribble on three different colours. These are the pastel collection, by the way, I haven't mentioned that. So we do do a bright collection and we do do um, metallics. Picked up the same colour there, so let's change that. So you just scribble those on. Now for this, I just use my finger. So I just, um, oh, top, top, top. so I just rub this now with my finger. So they blend in, lovely. So you just blend it in. If you're a bit worried about blending it with your finger, you can use a piece of tissue. So you can put a piece of tissue on your finger and use it. I prefer to use my finger. <laughs> I think it kind of melts the colour and you can feel what, how you're moving it. So I always prefer to move it with my finger, but whatever you feel, you know, if you don't like doing this, if you don't like messy, then that's fine. So you just rub that. At any point you can add more colour, so you can add lighter colour or darker colour. So you could come in with the white, I think, well I'll just add a light up there, and then rub that back. Yep. So once you're happy with that background, that's it. If you want to set it, you can just leave it and it will set on its own. If you want to set it, you can use some hairspray just a cheap hairspray. But what you can do at this point is just blob some water on. Just give it a couple of seconds, just let it eat into the paper and then get your kitchen towel, put it over the top and then bring that back and that is etting away at the colour. So you can get some really interesting techniques. If you spritz it rather than flick it on, you get more of a uh, regimented pattern but I just quite like the, the splashed look. So that's my first technique. So for my second technique, I'm gonna use my mat and just crayon onto my surface. It doesn't matter about the colors, whatever you fancy. I might just put a bit of green on there. And they don't move now until you spritz it. <laughs> That's it. And then you get your card and just put that in. And then bring it back. Now these don't look very good until they dry. When they dry, they dry far more intense. So let's put that over there a minute. Just put some more colour on. So a bit of water, but not too much. So what you can do now is get something, like a, a bubble wrap, whatever, put that in, and then pick it up. print over the top. So this should pick up the detail off the bubble wrap. Yeah. It's a bit watery but that's quite nice. It's really hard to see that. When that dries that will be really nice surface to work with. So we'll leave that to dry. So the final technique that I've got that I have to get in, they are water based so they just clean up with water. So this is my last technique and this is using the gelatos as a watercolour. 
So I've stamped the freshly cut flowers in black ink with clear embossing powder. So you don't need to do it with embossing powder. You can just stamp it with a permanent ink if you want to. It's up to you. But I like, um, I like the embossing because it kind of keeps it in the lines. It keeps the, the colour in the lines. So I've just used the top of my page as a palette. So just go over the image. If you want it nice and light, just go over the image with a bit of water. Not too much or else it'll swim it too much. And then just pick up some colour and then just swirl that round in the middle. I quite like it so it's paler on the outside so I will just leave it at that. And then pick up some green. Now when you see this you haven't got leaves that are painted as such so don't worry about painting a leaf in just kind of go over roughly where it is. When we watercolour the lines are just there for a basic guide we're not staying in the lines so really don't worry about that. And then I'll just do the, the seed heads. So I want this more intense, so just go straight into the colour and just put that down. And like I say, when you're doing these lines, don't worry too much. You can mix it, obviously, because there I'm just mixing the two together. Just go down the lines roughly where they are. Don't be too proper. <laughs> and then my bow. And if you look at your watercolour artists, they do this thing where the colour does go over the lines. Now if you just want to ground that, if you want it so it's not kind of hanging there mid-air, just take something, anything, a darker colour, get a nice wash going like that and then just put some on the bottom there and then that just gives it a bit of grounding. So that's your watercolour technique. And with that I've done exactly the same here and I've finished it off as a card because I thought it didn't look very good like that but I thought when you see it as a card you can see how that makes a really nice card. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the gelatos video.